How's everybody out there in YouTube land tonight? I hope you're all safe. I hope you didn't go through what I have gone through in the last <laughs> 20, well, I don't know, 36 hours, whatever it's been now. Good golly, it feels like a week. Uh, <laughs> this has been a wild ride. I've been to Oz and back. Me and Toto had to eat us one of the Lollipop Guild kids. And <laughs> we stole Gilda's wand and <laughs> or Glenda, whatever her name is. I one that wears the pink frou frou thing. That would be Glenda. <laughs> it has been a rough, rough while here. Let's see. We got Jada out there. We got Sandra out there. I got Brandy and Melissa in the house. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. I've been working this table. I'm I'm surprised the table is holding up under the weight of all the projects and stuff that I've got going here. The ones that I did last week and the ones that I'm I'm about to do and the ones that I've got yet, got yet to do that I'm not going to get on the show tonight because of the power being out. I went 25 hours without electricity. Oh my God. You what, if you if you want to play little house on the prairie Flip your switch to off for about <laughs> 25 hours. <laughs> you can't do nothing. <laughs> you can't read in the dark. You can't, you can't run any water in the dark. Uh, if you do, it's going to be cold water. What little you're going to get. Uh, you, you can't open the refrigerator or the freezer because you don't want to lose any of the cold that's in there. You're trying to save what food you got. Um, uh, <laughs> you can't do crafts in the dark. Believe me, I tried. <laughs> After so many hours, you're so bored you'll try anything. So uh, it, it was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I thought when I moved to town that I got away from the, the uh, little house on the prairie foolishness. Every time the wind blowed, the power would go out. But I was wrong. I was very wrong. I'm just, I'm grateful though that I'm alive. I'm grateful that the, the house is standing because there's a lot of people that didn't make it. Um, I believe last count there was eight dead in Ohio and a lot of people injured. Um, in Indiana, we were lucky in the fact that nobody was killed. Um, there were a lot of farms lost, a lot of livestock lost. Wow. Uh, a lot of houses destroyed. Uh, a lot of devastation, uh, a lot of money lost in industry because of the power being out and uh, them not being able to operate. Um, it, it was a mess over here and will be for a while. But uh, they did get the power back on today. Um, I don't know how many were out. <laughs> they, they said the rural was out. Sandra said... I can see you sitting in the dark holding a glue stick over a candle to glue things together. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't quite that bad. Uh, I did <laughs> I did try to put some stuff through the, the platinum last night, trying to do some embossing and cut out some dyes, and it just wasn't working. So I said, well, even by flashlight, this is not working out. we got to wait until at least daylight to be able to do some things here. Uh, so I had to wait to daylight till I could get some crafting done. But, uh, More yeah. Popped in. Let's say we've got Some Nancy more. in there. Hey, Nance. We got Amanda in there. Amanda, Hi, Amanda. in the house. We got, uh, Tanya in there and Joy's in there. Yeah, we're getting a crowd going here. They're strolling in. Welcome, ladies. Glad to have you with us tonight. We're discussing the the tornado that went through here yesterday and tore up Jack. I'm telling you what, made the awfulest mess. And uh, people was running for their lives and diving in ditches and everything else to try to avoid the tornado. And luckily they made it, but their homes didn't. Their homes were flattened and uh, barns were flattened. Livestock was killed. And uh, it, it was a big mess over here. But... Uh, Thankfully, that's over now, and hopefully we don't have to go through no more of that. It's just a clean up at this point. So we'll get on with the show here a little bit, and uh, we'll start off with what does Miss Brandy have on her crafty table? Oh, I no. thought you were going to do Melissa first. <laughs> you want Melissa first? We can do Melissa first. Well, Melissa, what do you got on your crafty table? Uh, let me switch to the overhead. 
<laughs> okay, I am, uh, as you know, I was making this chicken for Helen. Yes. So I'm oh, yeah. trying to put together, you know, a little package. And I, I tried one of those zines, and it just did nothing for me. So yeah. I tossed that aside. And I had purchased this game uh, in the Goodwill for 50 cents. Yeah. It's a board game of some sort. But, I mean, you've seen Helen's, um, you know, profile picture. Right. You know, she she looks like a rock chick, you know, punk rocker with the spiky <laughs> blonde hair, and she's yeah. throwing the rock sign. Um, <laughs> you know, so I said, okay, well, let me try doing that. So this is going to be, um, I'm going to do a junk journal, and it's going to, this is going to be the cover and the spine and the back cover. Yeah. Uh, they're called the Bratz Rock Angels. Okay. So that's what I'm working on. I've just, you know, I, I figured out what I was going to use for the cover. And there's some game pieces in here. Um, and there's, you know, these little cards and whatnot. So I figured I would put these, you know, in the game, uh, uh -huh. in the book, and use these cards, you know, as tags or something. I don't know. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. That's a cool idea. And I just put a, a coat of varnish on the ornaments I poured last night on the show. I'll say hey to Andrea and hey to Susan that came in the chat room there. Mm, that's about it for me. Hi, oh, Andrea. Andrea. Hey, Chuck's in the house. <laughs> well, Brandy, you turned off your camera. Yes, are you, I did. Are you She's trying vaping. to hide from us? She's vaping. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am not. <laughs> You're hyperventilating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. I'm just, uh, I'm angling my camera so I can Well, we see. can't tell. I know that. Give me we, a second. Everybody's we can't tell because we can't see. Well, give me a second. <laughs> I was hoping Melissa would take longer. <laughs> Lord, girl, you've had all day. You've had electricity. <laughs> I can't help that, uh, uh, you know, they just, oh, Kiki just came on. in. How you doing, Kiki? Hey, now Kiki. I'm having camera problems. My camera trying oh. to fall off the table. <laughs> Hi, oh, Wanda. Hi, that. Tanya. Wanda's yeah. birthday is today. Happy well, birthday, happy birthday. Wanda. Okay, camera is back on. All right. My bad. I see a mouse. You see a mouse? Where? <laughs> On your camera. Oh, no, maybe that's Brenda's camera. <laughs> there she is. Okay. Can you see me? Hi, yes, I can buddy. see you. Okay. Good. Hopefully. Oh, snap. Blinding. Kiki says, Brenda, you remember living without electricity. It should be old hat for you. <laughs> well, I don't remember back that far. We we got electricity when I was three years old. Honest to God. Uh, <laughs> and I, I don't remember back that far. So, uh, <laughs> But I remember being Little House on the Prairie every time the wind would blow the, out the candle that held the electricity together. And I thought when I moved to town, that was all over with. <laughs> Surprise, oh, well. surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got everything situated got, now. All right. So before I show off the uh, project I've been working on this week, I thought I would show the really cool prize that I won from Graphic 45. All right. Um, they sent me this little thank you card for entering and winning the contest. I'm like, it's not really hard. All I did was leave comments. So, got that from them. The one I, the thing I think is the coolest is I got this huge button. Like, this sucker is massive. Like, that thing is huge. <laughs> I well, love it. They'd seen you, you know, with Booby Magoo, and they, they're trying to send you something to cover things up. And... Right? There you go. <laughs> Should have sent you two of them. One. I need, yeah, no, I need, I'll have to win another prize so I can have two. I'm trying not to blind everybody with my light. Um, 
Let's see. That ain't what's going to blind him. (laughs) 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 You see what I have to put up with? And now I'm getting double teamed because Melissa's on here too. I'll go back to my corner. (laughs) (laughs) I tell you, man, I ran out of corners last night. That chat room was gone off the chain. Um, uh, they actually pulled some stuff out of their so-called vault, which I'm guessing is their retired collection. And so I got these guys. Hopefully you can see them. Not too much of a glare. Uh Um, I I did finally figure out what they were called. They are called for their Circa collection 2011, and it's called the List Circ, um, Stamps. So, got those, and then I got, I'm just going to show all this at once because it is all one thing. Um, All of these little bits that came together, as far as the small stuff, these three things, it is from their collection, which um, is based off of, like, Murder Mystery, Whodunit, um, Sherlock Holmes, um... I got the ephemera from it. Yeah. Which I I love the little skeleton guy. He's so cute with a little mustache and the top hat. So <laughs> it's a it's a bunch of ephemera in there. And then they sent chipboard pieces that have all of it on here. Yeah. Um and then they sent I know you've already seen all this stuff from the <laughs> They sent me, these are envelopes and scored tags that are already done for me. So all I got to do is pop them out and then score them and then I'm done. So they sent that. Then they sent from another piece of their vault collection, which I honestly thought this was really cool. It reminds me of, um, I think you pronounce it and I hope I don't botch this, Romany. Um... But it's their Midnight Masquerade collection. Ooh, Just chipboard are- um, uh, tags and stuff. Yeah, I love, like, look at the lady. She's so gorgeous. Mm-hmm. And then the masks, they're, it's really pretty. It's got a <laughs> lot of purples and blues and stuff in it. So there's that. And then I got the, the 12 by 12 paper. But I'm not going to show that because it's heavy and it's huge. Um, so I'm not going to show that. I also got sent me the um, backgrounds and solids. And just to do like a little quick flip through so you can see. It's mostly the same. There's hounds too. And then the back of the pages are all like solid colors. Um, but like one of them is like this page right here. It's all poison labels uh like arsenic and um let's see sugar lead that's my favorite one right there (laughs) um let's see some of these are upside down phosphorus uh erase i have no idea what erasive fluid is but um apparently it's in there and then laudanum poison so lots yeah. of different poisons laudanum. to choose from and then it's just all the same things in their backgrounds for their paper line so both are 12 by 12s for this and let me throw this in the floor so it's not in my way but they also sent me the 8 by 8s which is a lot easier to hold up so just so you guys can see it there's the front page it's a really cool Sherlock Holmes type scene. Um, again, with the skeleton. He's so hilarious. <laughs> when I'm just sitting there with a little hat on, not, you know, not bothering. Uh, let's see. And then there's three pages of uh, each piece of paper. And, of course, they're double. They're double. Uh, oh, my God. What's the word? Double-sided. 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 Thank you. That means they, they got them on each side, Brandy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this page is called Beautiful I'm Mystery. So it's just project. it's just graphics. Um, but it's really pretty. I like the way they did the colors. Uh-huh. 
uh, let's see. And then there's the back page. So you got the front and the back. And then you skip a few pages. This is one of my favorite pages. Talking about clues and Sherlock Holmes things to uh, let's see. My dear Watson. Clues, what everybody should get some of. <laughs> and then it says, one of them says, dying to see you. Um, let's see. It's elementary. Who done it? Uh, the cute small ones that you can really see is, my name is Sherlock Holmes. It's my business to know what other people don't know. Um, I cannot live without brain work. What else is there to live for? Um, and then it's like some of the books, like The Hound of the Baskervilles and um, The Blue Carbuncle or The Adventure of the Blue Carbuncle. And you ever know anybody that needed to get a clue? I know a lot of people that need to get a clue. <laughs> a lot. And then that's the back side of the clues paper, which is like this really cool industrial background. And then this is so you can make game pieces. They're game cards, and you can yeah. make game pieces with them, and they're so neat. And of course, the game is called Who Done It. Um, Watson and Sherlock are on here, and then uh, one of the professors' name is uh, Mortuary. <laughs> if that tells you anything. I say hey to Michelle and to Joyce that came in the chat room. Hi, Hi Joyce. Joyce. Hi, Hi Michelle. Joyce. Hi Jada. And then and you know, there's always Tracy. The Hi Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, Tracy's in there. So, and then this is Brenda's favorite, other favorite page. Yeah, the, the spiders. Uh, the spider webs, the black widows. And then it's just plaid on the back. And then here's more clues. <laughs> if you want to get more clues. Um, so, yeah. And then there's another pages of apothecaries. And then they have ephemera in the back and more and more and more so you can have more and then the cool thing about the back of their uh packaging is they have templates to you so you can cut them out for tags uh, there's pillow boxes there's gift tags round and square and then if you go back up to the front there are triangular square and then regular square and then a journaling looking type card then along with that and then after that i'll be done with this part they sent oh, me wait, some keys. <laughs> I know, right? They sent me a buttload of stuff. I didn't expect to win it. Like, a huge amount of stuff, but they did. Um, they sent me keys. I love these keys. They're just so cool. Um, and all of their, these little things, you can actually save these and use the backs as templates to cut out tags. If you want yeah. to cut tags. Because all of their tags, which is, this is the last thing. Um, all of their tags are shaped the same way. So well, say hey to Mary that came in the room. Hey, Mary. Hi, Mary. <laughs> so that is all of that stuff. I was excited. Well, Mary, I hope stuff. we make you feel better tonight with all of our shenanigans. Oh, I hope so. Okay. And then here comes the fun stuff. So this book is slowly getting fatter and fatter and fatter. Slowly. Okay, I'm gonna raise it up just a hair. Don't let me make anybody sick. If I did, I apologize. All right, so I'm not gonna show every single page because why well, I don't wanna be here all night. Um, I ended up knocking it down to two signatures instead of five. This altogether is 60 pages. That's not counting front and back, that's just counting one single page. So, this is what 30 pages looks like when it's not really done. This is what 30 pages looks like when it's partially done. <laughs> so I'll just show a couple of pages and then I'll give this back to Brenda. So here's a little pocket area that I did. And I made my own tags instead of going out and buying them. It was, it's a lot easier than people think. And then, let's see. Now, by the time you get that filled up, you're going to have to call it the Fat Girl Journal. I know, right? <laughs> um, I took this. I made it a little flip-out pocket. And it tucks in. 
got graph paper behind it. Then I took this uh, fabric sample and then it's got a little tag spot. And then the tag also can slip and slide down up into here. So there's those. There's a little belly band that I did. Uh, let's see. I just finished this page earlier when uh, Emily was going on live stream. Um, it's just two belly. It was one big belly band and then I cut it in half because I wanted to keep the saying. And then I put um, some journaling paint, uh, card in the middle. And yeah. then, I, let's see, I'll do, I'll show another big one. Here's another big one with a, another fabric tuck spot. And then now that fabric, that, that was, that, that fabric came from them pink underwear that you had, didn't oh it? Oh my God, <laughs> no, it did not. <laughs> them stretchy drawers you had, isn't that what that is? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why'd you turn red? <laughs> She's purple. She got your sweater. <laughs> Chuck just puked in the in the chat room. <laughs> See, you can't be serious with them. You cannot be serious. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm pretty sure that was them pink stretchy drawers you had. <laughs> I don't own any pink stretchy underwear. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <sighs> okay. Um <laughs> if so they're Carry on. embroidered. Um <laughs> Oh my god. <sighs> um yeah, there's a pocket here and then if you flip it over you can see the two pockets in the back. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Not only that was too funny. <laughs> sad thing is, up until just a few minutes ago, you could see all my fabric scraps and now they're under all that freaking graphic 45 stuff. <laughs> okay, just to prove it. Oh. Let me make you feel better. These are fabric scraps. They're not underwear. <laughs> They're not fabric. <laughs> and if you own a pair of if you own a pair of underwear that are that fancy, then go good for it. Because <laughs> that's some underwear that I can't afford. <laughs> well, I guess we'll talk about what's on my crafty table. I, there's no underwear involved. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fun of that? <laughs> I'm leaving. Mine's, mine's kind of boring oh after that. Uh, <laughs> but you might recall that last week we was working on the eggshell mosaics on the lighter. And this is how it came out after I got both sides of it done. And I coated it um, with some clear coat to seal it up. And I'm ready now to ship it off to Zippo. It needs a new uh, latch there in the back or a pin in the back of it for the hinge and it needs new innards in it now uh <laughs> i was on michelle scott's live feed the other day and she was telling me that she had concerns about the safety of this because i was using flammable things on a lighter well first off there ain't no fuel in this lighter the insides of this are are worn out there's no fuel in it second of all even if it had fuel in it, I'm not dumb enough to try to light it while I'm working with alcohol. Uh, <laughs> I know a few people that would. <laughs> and once you dry it and seal it, there's nothing flammable about the outside of it. So, you know, just, just to clarify all that. But uh, when I send this off, what they'll do is they'll pull the inside of it out like that. And they'll just put a new one inside of it. And they will take this wire that I've got holding it together in the back off and put a new hinge pin in it. And then they'll send it back to me all for free because it is a Zippo. So, um, see if I can get it back together here. There we go. That's what happens when you buy a Zippo lighter. If anything wears out on it, they replace it for free. 
So that's that story. Now, also sticking with the eggshell mosaics, you know that I have this piece of wood, this little round wood, and I put the eggshells on it. Well, I turned it into a pendant. I sealed it up with a clear coat. And we'll try to get it up here. We can get the camera to focus a little bit. And then I put a bail on it and I put a cord on it so you can wear it. And I signed the back of it. So that's the pendant that I made out of the eggshell mosaic. <clears throat> I was playing with the alcohol inks on another piece of wood. And so as I finished it this week, what I did is I put these gears on it. And then I went over the top of it with Dimensional Magic. And I put a bail on it. I painted the back, back of it with some more uh, alcohol ink and put a cord in it. And there's that piece that I did. I also worked on these. Now, I'm not extremely pleased with the way these turned out. But on the other hand, I'm not real disappointed either. Uh, I wanted them to be a little clearer than this. This is dimensional magic on top of uh, uh, an acrylic pore skin that I put in this bezel. I put a chain on the bottom of it with a couple little charms and I put a jump ring on the top with a cord so that it can be worn. I would like for it to have been a little clearer, but since this is the um, uh, darker color metal on it, it just looks more aged, I think, that way. It is what it is. Here's another one. This is the medium sized one out of that. Susan said for you to put your hand behind it to focus. Back off the camera a wee bit. There you go. Yeah. All right. That's better. That's a little better. There you go. There's the medium sized one that I did. Got a couple little charms on the bottom of that one on a chain. And then this is the small one in that pack. And there again, it's kind of cloudy. I would like for it to have been a little clearer. But that's what it is. Then I did a video on this the other day. I don't know how many of you seen it, but if you didn't see it and you want to see how this was made, you can look this up. This is a wood project that I'm doing for the Woodcarvers Club. We're making decorations for the community Christmas tree. And um, they gave us these cutouts and it, what it was just a rough cutout of a tree and we could carve it out and decorate it any way we wanted to for them to hang on the Christmas tree there at the community Hi, center. Hi Carrie. Hey Carrie. Good, good Hi, and I uh, carved out the grooves in it to make it look a little more like a tree and then I uh, painted it with the alcohol inks and I wire wrapped it and put these little stone beads on it. And what are they? Then, what are they called? What are they well, called? These, these are stone beads right here that I put on okay. it. Okay. And, and then, then the shiny ones. And then I put these shiny ones on. Those are blingy bling blings. <laughs> <laughs> Technical term. Yeah. And I, I put this little star on the top of it, and I put a, a bail on it there on the back, and and put a cord on so they can hang it on the tree. So like that's that mine. I'll, that's cute. I'll be doing a video showing the ones that the rest of the club members made and uh, showing how the tree looks when they get the tree up up there at the community center. But that was my part of the project. Um, at least you did it. Yep. <laughs> then, let's see. I, I was working with skins and I took one of them cabochons and I put a skin, glued skin to the back of it. And oh, I, Lord. it should become a Buffalo Bill. <laughs> it <laughs> Buffalo Bill. I, I, you know how many uh, painted ponies I had to shoot to get that right there. I'm talking more or less on the side of like the Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> <laughs> Puts but, lotion on its skin. Uh huh. Yeah, but this is, Chiante. this is the second one I attempted, <laughs> and. The uh, when you put the skin on a cabochon, you have to make sure that when you put it to the cabochon that you really press it on good, really burnish it on. You don't want any air bubbles in there. Did you and, know, Brenda? 
that the brain, know? the brain of a cabochon contains enough chemicals to tan its own hide. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it don't get the air bubbles out when you put the the skin to it if you don't burnish it down. I'll tell you that right now. And how I know is because the first one I put down had a bunch of air bubbles in it, and it looked horrible. And it took me a while to figure out why does that look that bad. It didn't look like that when I glued it on. And then I finally figured out that it had air bubbles in it, so I had to take that one off and and put another one on. And then I just put some alcohol ink on the back, glued a bail to it, and put a cord on it, and that that was mine now some of you may have seen the video that i put out the other day about uh chroma <laughs> storm arts amanda sent me a, a big box of goodies and hi sanjay <laughs> she sent me this really <laughs> cabochon those people over oh, britain really have it rough daylight savings time yesterday they had to move stonehenge by a foot <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> every spring every fall <laughs> he's, he's now retreating back to his cave <laughs> Aww, he's always gonna get a joke in though yeah. yep. it's <laughs> <laughs> well amanda sent me a box of goodies and in it she sent me this beautiful cabochon with the skin on I the claim. back of it and put it in this beautiful bezel and so I put the uh, the ribbon to it to match it, and I'll be wearing that with pride. Bless her heart. You better. Her. She sent me a bunch of her Upo pores that she wanted to see what I could do with them. Well, first thing I did is I framed one. <laughs> There's one right there. There is her business card with it, and. Let's see. I don't want to take that one out of there. I've got another one up here that I will show on the camera. And her website's on there. Well, come down to Down and to the left. Uh, right. Down to the right. Move right. The, yeah, right. There, there, you, there you go. Okay. Her website's on there. It says Chroma Storm Arts and the number one dot com. That's her website. And she's in the chat room. Yes, she is. And, and I will uh, go find the link. That is her card, and that is the framed one that I put up that I'll be hanging on the wall. And when my friends send me their artwork, I like to take at least a piece of it and frame it up and put it on the wall. I'm calling that the fans gallery. And then she said that she was tired of making jewelry with the skins she said that she jewelried herself out that she had made all kinds of pendants and earrings and bracelets and all that stuff out of the skin she didn't know what to do with them anymore and they was piling up so she sent me a pile of them and said have at it let's see what you can do well i came up with a whole bunch of ideas some of them i'll show on the show tonight and some of them i'll be doing videos about this week but i thought well okay first off if you've got a bunch of jewelry what are you going to do with it? You need a place to put it. And Jay, not to interrupt, but Jay uh, just asked you a question. Yes, I see. She wants to know if my foot's any better. Well, <laughs> the foot has been the least of my problems over the last couple of days, sitting here with no electricity in the middle of a tornado. Uh, but it, it's, it bothered me a lot last week. I was supposed to do a craft show Saturday. It didn't get done. Um, my foot was swollen and purple and my other foot was swelling up out of sympathy for, for the for the broken one. Uh, so the craft show did not go, but it was the last one I was supposed to do this year. And um, now I can relax about craft shows and try to move on with something else, which is what I was trying to do when the tornado come through here yesterday. Um, <laughs> and now I've got to revamp from that and see if I can't get back on track. But uh, yeah, my, my foot, it's still on my leg. Um, <laughs> so far so good, I guess you could say, um, no, about another three weeks and it should be good enough that I can stop dragging that boot around. I feel like I'm dragging an anchor, but anyway, I was talking about, uh, you know, you got all this jewelry, 
So you got to have a place to put the jewelry, right? The next logical step to me would be that you need to have a jewelry box. Well, let's see. Uh, there's uh, the Simple Joys is out there in the craft room, and I will say, hey. Um, well, when I, say, I wanted to pop in and say hi. Well, hello. I'm glad to have you out there. <laughs> well, you don't need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we I thought, well, we'd make a jewelry box. And you can get these little paper mache boxes at any craft store. And then you paint them up. Now, this particular one, what I did is I painted this with the uh, black alcohol ink. And then I took a hole punch, or I guess you call it a hole punch, a punch. And it looks like this. And I punched out a bunch of these little flowers. And what you do is you stack these up. And that's what I did here on the lid of this little box. Stacked them up. And then once I got them all glued down, I put a little glitter over the top of the box. That's the really fine glitter. And then I put some blingy bling blings in the middle of the little flowers. <laughs> and when it all dried real good, I put some uh, sealer on it to seal it up. <laughs> well, honey, you stick around long, I'll have you laughing in stitches all the time. This <laughs> we do more of that than we do crafting on this show. Uh, so, yeah. let me just give you a clue. Get yourself some depends. You will need them. <laughs> <laughs> but I sealed that one up. So that one's done. But and that's just her U pose. I mean, you know, this the U po it's nothing but vinyl. I mean, you know, I took a look at that and I thought, well, it kind of reminds me of uh, glossy copy or glossy uh, photo paper or something. Uh, but it's kind of rubbery and I got to thinking on it. I thought, well, that's nothing but vinyl. It doesn't have a texture to it like the vinyl that you'd buy for upholstery or anything. It, it's uh, flat, but it's vinyl is what it is. Well, in that platinum, I can cut and fabric and leather and all kinds of stuff with that thing. So I thought, well, shoot, that'll go through the the embosser. That'll go through the dice. Uh, that'll go through the punches and everything else. So that's what I did. And I'll show you. I've got this one here. I, I did this one. I coated it first with white on the outside. I coated the inside with black. And then the outside, I went back over it with yellow in the alcohol ink. Now, you can use paint you know whatever you got i'm i'm just playing with that alcohol ink like crazy i'm really enjoying that um and then i cut out a bunch of the u pose and there's some for painting and i'm going to put glue those to the top of this get my glue going here and well if i can get it picked up there we go. I'm not laughing at you, I promise. The simple joy said, there's that technical term again, the blingy bling blings. Yep. Please slow down. I'm not a crafter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I say all kinds of things that people ain't used to hearing. So, you know, you hang oh, around here oh. long enough, you'll le learn all kinds of new terms. But just put a little glue on the back of it. It's not rocket science. And you Hi, Rosie. Place them now. <laughs> we like to use numbers of threes and fives and sevens and stuff when we when we craft. Odd numbers seem to look a little nicer. So that's why we buy stuff when it's marked at eight ninety nine or four ninety nine. <laughs> ninety nine. <laughs> so we're going to do three flowers on there, and we got the first layer down. There's five layers to these flowers. And I try to line them up so that they offset a little bit. But this is an inexpensive thing to do for gifts coming up, Christmas time and stuff. And um, of 
quick to do and something to do with your pores that you don't know what to do with. I mean, you know, they're not all masterpieces. You can cut them out and do other things with them, but if you needed to cut out sentiments for cards or um, whatever you wanted to cut out with them, you know, just like you do your painty papers. So I second like the layer. different colors. Yeah, I wanted to use these ones with the purple in them on a on something yellow. Um, if you yes, take a look, out. yeah, you take a look at your color wheel. You'll see colors right across from each other in the color wheel are complementary to each other. And if you look up the purple on the color wheel, you'll see that yellow is complementary to that. We ain't even gonna get into paint colors. You know how I feel about paint colors. <laughs> <laughs> Well, a lot of people don't know how to use color wheel, and they get confused by it. And it, the quickest, easiest way to learn how to use color wheel is just to look at the colors right directly across from each other on it, and that way you'll know the complementary colors. And just start with that before you try to make it more complicated. Amanda said, the cool thing about you pose and skins, if you save them, there is no paint waste. That's right. Yeah, we don't throw things out. No, we're hoarders. <laughs> <laughs> we're collectors. <laughs> I've got the third layer down we'll go with the fourth layer and it's wanting to stick to me there we go Get you down there i still like the other one the best but that's only because of all the glitter and when you shined it that uh the other day in the light when you showed it to me oh my gosh it looked like christmas lights because it kind of blurred out from all the glitter and the lights well, oh, I man. it was I, so pretty. I my eyes got it. huge. I ain't done with this one yet, girl. You might decide <laughs> to do better. I don't know. That's gonna then you're gonna have to, to prove it then. Because <laughs> that other one was shining. And I've got a couple too many cut out here, but that's okay because I'll use them on another project. Just like that right there. Susan posted emojis with big old wide eyes. Yeah, that, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I looked. Did you just smack the camera with the glue? No, not that I know of. <laughs> I might have. Like <laughs> trying to shake it down there a little bit. I may have smacked it one. Whoop you upside the head. <laughs> Not wanting to cooperate with me, oh, and I ain't having that. I'm, I've been <laughs> aggravated enough with the electric for the last day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> the simple joy Not said, the, "Shining so much, it was blingier than than a blingy bling bling." Surely not. <laughs> blingier oh, than Jesus. a blingy bling. bling. <laughs> Tracy, she said, I bet that would be cute with pink panties. <laughs> oh my God. I'm never going to be able to sell this journal with underwear on it. <laughs> oh, see, this, this is why I turned my camera pink off. panty journal. <laughs> Only used once on Sundays. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a journal of the pink panties. <laughs> this is my going to preaching shorts. <laughs> Hey, if that's the, if, it, if they were panties, you know what I'd do? I'd sell them to the prison. <laughs> I heard that's a really big thing. <laughs> well, they got that prison down in Texas, you know, where they they make all the men wear pink. <laughs> wow, ain't nothing wrong with wearing pink. Noah won't wear pink, but that's because he won't. <laughs> Cause he's mean. <laughs> Okay, we'll move them out of the way. We got that right there, and then we take a. Uh, well, where'd my package of blingy bling blings go? There they are. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I want that the dictionary. <laughs> Everybody needs some blingy bling blings. Let's see if we can move this camera up just a tad. There, to get it over what I'm doing. There we go. Now we're gonna put a little glue. Well, it's it's. I was about to say it's moving. It's moving. <laughs> Let me see if I can tighten it. <laughs> I saw it slowly like moving closer and closer and closer. It's like Jaws. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. It's Lord, gonna get it. Let's try to tighten it up some. It wants to get close to the glitter. <laughs> it wants to be one with the glitter. Yes. Yeah. Melissa can't say anything to though. Bling blingy bling blings. <laughs> Melissa, you can't say anything. You got the blingest bling bling collection of glitter of them all. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, a little glue going here on the table. Maybe. It sounds like you're almost out. No, it's about three quarters away full, but it's not wanting to cooperate with me tonight. I think it's been a little chilly with no power, no heat. And... I had my air conditioner on last night. And I'm sitting here wearing a sweater. Lord. I can't wait for this. It's It dropped 10 degrees in the last hour or so. I'm Jeez. hoping it'll it's, cool off. I need my pokey tool. And I don't see it. There it is. Too much stuff on my desk. <laughs> Get it turned around. Pointed the right direction. Right in the center of that flower. I hear brandy vaping. <laughs> I'm picking my nose. No, you're not. <laughs> Actually, someone's standing here with me right now. It's so it's oh, not so me. you're blaming them on it. <laughs> no, <laughs> Noah's staying in here. <laughs> so you're picking your nose in front of somebody while you're vaping. <laughs> <laughs> yes, with my panties on my head. <laughs> Do you have your pink panties on? Yes. From from Thursday, not Sunday. <laughs> And today is what? Tuesday. From last Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I came up with an invention about 200 years ago. It's called a washing machine. <laughs> I just flip them around. <laughs> yeah, you, you wait until they walk off, right? <laughs> now, when that glue dries, it'll dry clear. But that's what it'll look like when it dries. And um, then I'll put a coat of clear coat on it. And so here's the... We got the black one and we got the yellow one. I still like the other one. Yep. Still like the black but one better? Might, yeah, I like the black one better. It might just be, yeah, it might just be because the glue's not dry yet, but. You need, you need to invest in a camera. Everything bye, Simple Joys. Oh, bye, Simple Joy. They got to go sort out new baby ducklings. Aw. Aw. I want some <laughs> ducklings. So that's one project. Now, here's another project. You can get these boxes at any craft store. I sell these wooden boxes. And you bring them home and you paint them. On the inside of this, I just painted the inside of it black. And the outside of it, I painted with some bronze. 
And then I, you remember that um, canvas piece that I painted with the um, alcohol inks last week where I was playing with the alcohol inks in the airbrush. I cut that up and made mosaics out of it. I glued them to the box. I glued them all the way around the sides and I glued them up there on the top. And then when they all dried, I hit it with clear coat and sealed it up. Quick, easy to do. Your pores don't go to waste. Your, your painted papers don't go to waste. Whatever you want to do with them. Yep, you got a treasure box to keep your booty in. <laughs> well, you know, my, my granny used to call them jewelry coffins. Jewelry coffins? She, she said that that's where dead jewelry would go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think now we call them like bling boxes and stuff, you know, where we put all our, our broken jewelry and stuff, our blingy bling blings and all that. But she called them jewelry coffins. <laughs> there, you made me have the hiccups. <laughs> and then I took this in and I painted this one navy blue. And on the inside of it, I painted it black. Then I took a little bit of the black and I put it around the edges of it to distress it up a little bit. And I took one of Amanda's U pose and I put a, put it through a hole punch. And then I cut them in two to make little decorations out of them. And I'm going to glue them to this oh, box. Oh, oh. Pull the box forward. There you go. And there's a pile of them there, so I'm going to glue them to this box. Move the box down. There you go. I, <laughs> since I moved the camera, I can't stay in the right frame there. There we go. There you go. Now, we take the glue and we put some out here on the table. That way we don't have to keep squeezing the stupid bottle. Well, it helps if you take the cap off, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you had a moment. <laughs> I've been waiting months for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what no electricity and sleep deprivation do to you. <laughs> Put a little glue on them. Glue them down where you want them. Amanda really loves the blue and yellow combo. Yeah, it really stands out. Well, there again, <laughs> you look on a color wheel at what your complementary colors are, and blue's right across from yellow. And see, you, you fooled me because you had me thinking you were going to do something else, but I like this better. Well, yeah, I, you know, I studied on it for a while and got to thinking, you know, well, do I want to do that? Do I want to do something else? You know, what do I want to do? So I thought that I would do this. Here you breathing, honey. <laughs> I'm gonna put one there. That's not creepy. Now on the inside of it, you could uh, put felt on the inside, velvet on the inside. You however you want to get fancy with them. You can decoupage the inside of it with your fancy napkins or you know whatever you you want to do. Or you could put more U-pos on the inside of it if you want to. Andrea said it looks like sleeping like eyes yeah it looks like somebody's got their eyes closed it's like one of those cute little sleep oh that's when you take some of that lavender soap that you make that smells so good and you put it in there and you just open the box when you're ready to go to sleep oh it smells so good just saying put one on the end of it there Put one on this end of it. And there is another little jewelry box. As soon as that glue dries on it, then it'll be ready for me to come in and, and clear coat and seal. Will you stop? <laughs> stop. Then I got this other idea about decorating letters. And you could use the UPOs to make um, mosaic designs on letters. With the holidays coming up, you need stocking stuffers or you need quick, inexpensive gifts. You just type That's the UPO. 
and you take some scissors to it and I just cut you know just cut little chunks off going different glue them to them now well eventually I will after I get enough cut out well I'm sure there's a reason that you chose the letter a um, well a lot of people call I'm me a name that starts with the letter a I was thinking like apple or you know adulteries. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> nope, you had to go there. <laughs> oh god. We just cut out a pile of them. I mean, I don't know how many I'm going to need. It's however many I need. And what I don't need, then they'll go in a little bag, and I'll use them on another project. But we just cut out different sizes and shapes. Make a little pile. <laughs> Amanda said, or not Amanda, I'm sorry. Andrea said, I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you just these are like, I don't know, a buck at Michael's. And if you're using your discount coupons and stuff, you know, you're paying a little or nothing for them. And you've got the, the uh, pour that you did. It doesn't have to be you po. It can be canvas. It can be, uh, you know, whatever you're pouring on and cut it up and use it. Make designs. You don't have to cut it into these geometrics either. You can make flower designs, whatever you're wanting to do with it poke it on there. I like geometrics because I don't have to follow any kind of a pattern. I just put them down and move them around on there until I can get them where I think they need to go. Well. I hear Melissa cutting paper. <laughs> yep. She might be beheading somebody for all you know. <laughs> I would not put it past her. <laughs> it sounds like a guillotine to me. <laughs> if I hear something rolling across the floor, I'll know what happened. <laughs> Marie Antoinette's head gonna roll. Just d spare Rosie because she's cute. <laughs> oh no, 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 she's she's good. <laughs> she has nothing to worry about. No, no. What does that say about Sanjay? <laughs> <laughs> He has his days. His days may be numbered. <laughs> I'm telling you. She's going to live closer to me soon. I'm not going to make her mad. <laughs> she might travel the four hours to come and get me. <laughs> Amanda said that is. Where'd your voice go, Brandy? It's right here. Okay, you said Amanda said, and then you disappeared. Oh, I don't know what happened. It was my phone. Um, what did Amanda I say? <laughs> Amanda, gosh, Amanda said they would be good for Christmas ornaments. Yep, yeah, you could hang them on the tray. You could make stocking stuffers out of them. All kinds of cool stuff you could do with them. Yes, Noah. <laughs> He said you you could take the letter A and pin it on your sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Ignore him. <laughs> this is why I wear headphones. <laughs> so cool, y'all can't hear him as easily. Hey, come in there because he heard you was showing your panties on the air. And <laughs> Probably. He was like, panties? Why do I hear people talking about panties? I want me some pink panties. <laughs> Andrea said, poor Sanjay. Yeah. <laughs> he walks into it himself. Yes, he does. Most of them do. Yeah. Isn't that right, honey? <laughs> and they don't even realize it. Nope. And see, he'll just nod and he can't hear y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Well, Amanda, are you, uh, are you satisfied with the way I'm coming up with ideas? Because I've got three more. I'm not going to show them tonight. I'm going to do videos on them to show things that I've come up with. Uh, I was planning to try to show some of them tonight, but when the power went out, that changed uh, changed up everything around here. But I will do videos on the other ideas that I have that are, well, two of them are kind of bizarre, um, even for me. Melissa? Did Melissa go or did she? Her camera's out. She's there, but her camera's out. Oh, okay. So she's vaping now. <laughs> well, <laughs> She may be beheading Sanjay for all we know. <laughs> <laughs> and Amanda said, yes, ma'am, you rock. Well, thank you, sweetie. I'm, I'm trying to do you proud here. But I, I'll give you guys a heads up. Uh, one of the projects that I've got coming up is, you know those globes that they had back in the 70s on the ceiling fixtures, those big glass globes that look like a bowl? Yeah, now they have ones that look like nipples. I'm just well, saying. <laughs> I, had, I got a couple of those old ceiling fixtures taken down a couple months ago in my house, and I've been staring at those bowls, wondering what in the world to do with them. And I'm going to repurpose them into centerpiece bowls. Oh, and wow. I'm going to use the, these pours to decorate them. That's an and awesome idea. I've got an aluminum cup that I bought up to the Walmart. <laughs> y'all, y'all speak Southern enough to know what I said. <laughs> I up to the Walmart. You know, these, these aluminum cups and I'm going to paint that and decorate that and seal it um, with a dishwasher safe sealer. And then I'm going to make some cards with them. I'm, I've got a shaker card idea that I'm going to do with them and use uh, some embossers to emboss. Uh, yeah, I'm still on the show. That you tell emboss is really nice. I put a picture up on uh, Amanda's uh, group on Facebook the other day, one that I put through embosser. And Which was so cool. That That is nice. I think I've heard of color. Embossed just like leather. Or yeah, embossed just like leather. It did. It came out really good. Color on there. Fussing with me. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there is the letter A done. Let me get something and wipe that glue up off the table, or I will have it yeah. all over me and everything else. All right. There we go. And Amanda's wondering what dishwasher safe sealer do you use and where can you buy it? Okay. It is called Mod Podge. It comes in a blue bottle, a blue label, and this is what it looks like. And it says on here, dishwasher safe, gloss, brilliant, and it's a water-based sealer, blue and finish. Um, so... That's the one that you get to do the uh, stuff that you're going to be washing and using on a regular basis. It's top rack safe and hand wash only, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to put this on the bottom rack. But that's the that stuff. Now, you know, you was asking me a while ago about why the letter A. Well, see, I did a couple others playing around here. And I got that, and I got that, and what, what does that stand for, CSA? Let's see if anybody in the chat room can tell me what CSA stands for. Can you guess <laughs> I mean, yes, service associate. That's where I got it, was at Michael's. <laughs> I know what CSA stands for, Customer yeah. Service Associate. No, that's it. That's not it. Amanda, do you know by chance? <laughs> she knows. <laughs> it stands for Chroma Storm Arts. 
<laughs> and Amanda, these will be winging their way to you as soon as I get this and sealed and let the glue dry on it and I'll get it sealed. I already did these two. They're sealed, ready to rock. And I'll be sending them to you as a thank you for uh, you helping me out here, sending me these uh, you post for me to use on the, the shows and make some videos and stuff with bless your heart. Um, sent me that beautiful pendant and these, you know, don't do justice to that pendant, but you know, I hope you, you tack these up on the wall or, or glue them up on something and you will enjoy those, uh, you know, and think of me. And anytime you want to come on the panel, you're welcome to come on. You just let me know and uh, we'll put you on the panel and you can cut up with the rest of us. You don't have to be wearing pink panties to, to be on this panel. Because um, Lord knows I don't wear pink panties. <laughs> Brandy done cut hers up and put them in the journal. But, <laughs> but that's what I had for you here to show you tonight. It, it was going to be a little bit longer show because I was fixing to get into some of this other stuff. But Lord, you know, I'm not prepared to do the rest of that stuff tonight after the ordeal I've been through for the last two days. Um, <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it gave you some ideas on stuff that you can do. You know, I think that's just a really cute little idea there. And, you, you know, you could put, you could like punch out flowers and put them through your dye machine and, and cut out all kinds of designs and stuff that you could put on these. Uh, here's one that I was playing with and I haven't done anything with yet where I put it through a punch that I've got here and just did designs on another piece of it. Um, try to put my hand behind it. Maybe you can see a little bit better there. Just some a little kind of Dutch floral design on that one. And, uh, you know, that would have looked cute and glued up on the top of that too. And <laughs> you can do anything with them that you could do with paper or vinyl or, or whatever. Um, uh, it's neat stuff to mess with, but I sure did enjoy getting those and I will be doing a lot of playing with them this week, getting some videos up to, give you some more ideas on stuff you can do. And it doesn't have to just be these uh, um, pores. You can do this with, you know, a lot of you do painty papers and all that. You could use these in your journals, just like you do your painty papers. Um, do designs in your journals, make pockets out of them. Um, you know, whatever you wanted to do with them. Guys, I love to learn. Oh, hey, Dana, sorry. <laughs> We got, um, Dana, yeah, I see Dana in there. Hello, Dana. <laughs> but yeah, if you're doing greeting cards, you can use them on greeting cards. I'll, I'll be showing some of that in a video this week when I get a little more here, here and show you how to, to put these on. But she sent me some real pretty ones. Um, <laughs> purple, <laughs> blues. Yep, she's been flashing her panties. You never know what she's going to flash next. <laughs> These are see-through. <laughs> but that's what I had for you this evening. And I hope you enjoyed that, ladies. I hope that um, it gave you some more ideas on things that you can do. And we'll uh, give you some more ideas this week. If you like what we're doing here, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subbed to me, please do. Hi, Carrie. <laughs> and uh, pass this around. Be sure and share it, you know, and, and let other people know that, you know, there's other ways to, to use up your craft supplies and, uh, make gifts for the holidays, things that you can give out to your friends, school teachers, bus drivers, uh, co-workers. Uh, if you've got more craft shows and stuff coming up, you have more ideas of things that you can put out there that are not that expensive to make, something simple and quick, and use what you've got on hand. Just so don't with that, give I think the pink panties to the teacher. <laughs> well, I don't know. There's some teachers that might like the pink panties. <laughs> I would suggest, though, that probably if you have a son, you might not want to send him with a box of pink panties to school to give to the teacher. <laughs> that probably wouldn't win him a lot of friends. <laughs> Just saying. Because you all know he'd be wearing them, like it or not, on the recess field. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and shut it down for tonight. And uh, we'll, uh, what's that? Um Kiki asked a question on the chat. Oh, well, 
Kiki, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that tonight for a couple reasons. One of them is uh, I've been without electricity for the last two days here and just got the electricity back on a few hours ago. And I am not prepared to do that this evening. Uh, and another reason, and I'll just, I'll put it out there, um, is that uh, my subs kind of went crazy this past week as far as uh, people unsubbing from the channel. And I think that we might have somebody out there that's playing games because I'm yep. not the only one this is happening to. Happening to me. And yeah, we, we need to uh, make sure that, you know, the subs are going to stay up there. We don't need folks, you know, coming in and making a dozen counts and then subbing and then deleting a dozen and, you know, playing games with us. So I'm going to let this ride another week here for the subs. Make sure that everything's going to stay copacetic and that, you know, whoever is out there wanting to play games is going to, you know, stop fooling around. And then uh, I'll, when I do a good giveaway, you know, I do good giveaways. So, um, yeah. you know, it'll be worth your while to wait another week and we'll see what happens. But, um, you know, that's, uh, that's the story on the giveaway thing. And, um, We'll just let everything calm down and make sure that everybody's on the same page here. But uh, yeah, 305, you know, hey, that, that's good number. And as long as it stays up there and don't go jostling around. And to give you an idea how bad it was, it was 20 subs that I lost in a week. Now, I've been doing this over seven months and I'd only lost nine subs up to that point. So you know to lose 20 in a week there's something wrong um somebody's playing so, games yeah we're going to find out what's what's happening with this and then we will um get back to business as usual in the meantime i'm going to teach you how to do things with crafts and show you how to use your craft supplies and help you in any way that i can and keep doing what i'm doing to promote crafting so with that, we're going to shut her down for the evening, and I will be putting up some videos this week. If you didn't see the ones that I put up, please go and take a look at them. I did the tree. Uh, I did the one for the, the club uh, with the, the wood carvers last Wednesday night. If you haven't seen that, take a look at that. And um, I don't know. I, I did the one uh, where, where she sent me these beautiful um, you pose. This is the one that I embossed. That and then I put a little. It's gorgeous. I put a little white alcohol ink over top of it to show off the design on it, and that gives you an idea of what you can come up with with this stuff. So those are available for you to view and promote the channel. And let's get uh, some subs in here that are interested in learning more about crafting. And we will see you later this week with more videos. Say good night, ladies. Good night, ladies.